All right, I'm going to show you a very important prophecy, a prophetic verse here. When Jesus is on the earth, the nation of Israel at that time rejects him. And so, you know, they he dies on the cross, Jesus dies on the cross, death, burial, and resurrection. And Israel is given another chance in the book of Acts, <clears throat> early on in the book of Acts, to accept Jesus as their Messiah. They reject again. So blindness, in part, has happened to Israel <clears throat> until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. Romans chapter 11 talks about it. And then God's going to bring the time of Jacob's trouble, which is the book of Revelation. That's what it's all about. And at that time, the Jews are going to have the New Testament confirmed to them with all the signs and wonders of you know, the, the seven years of the time of Jacob's trouble there. And uh, at that point, they're going to accept Jesus as their Messiah. And they're going to have Moses and Elijah there, the two witnesses, preaching them to them, you know, for halfway through the thing. The whole point is they'll accept Jesus at the end of the thing. All right. So Jesus is not saying when he's on the earth, he did not say, I'm totally done with Israel. Unless you're a Roman Catholic. They teach replacement theology. Israel is finished. And then God now deals only with the church. So the time of Jacob's trouble, it's not the time of Jacob's trouble in the book of Revelation. It's now the great tribulation to purify the church. See, that's how they do this thing. But, but check this out. Matthew chapter 21, verse 20. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? Look at the unique wording there. Jesus says in verse 19, Let no fr fruit grow on thee henceforward forever. He's talking to the present fruit tree, the present fig tree. Fig tree being a type of Israel. Okay, they're not producing fruit, so the Lord curses that particular tree, not the Jews as a people forever. Just right there. And notice what the disciples say. How soon is the fig tree withered away? How soon? Yeah. It hasn't happened right then, but it's going to be. This is all very prophetic in nature. Look what the ESV does with Matthew 21, verse 20. When the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How did the fig tree wither at once? Interesting. How did the fig tree wither at once? Not how soon is it withered away. They're just saying, boom, it's done. Kind of, you know, giving heed a little bit to the uh, replacement theology lie of Roman Catholicism. Better think about that. And when you study it out, the ESV goes back to the Vatican. Catholics sitting on the translation team. Pretty dangerous to use that thing. Use a King James Bible. 